Well, here's another test of character. While testing the drone, making sure it's working before heading out, I feel how it's so much easier to fly a drone inside where no one can see you. However, that's very limiting. So I had to take a deep breath and explore the beach side to find a good spot to fly my drone. After walking for 15 minutes, unpacking my gear and getting ready to fly, a storm broke out. We packed up like the flash and ran back to the hotel for shelter. I had not been ready for this. Those were fun times in Cyprus. If you don't know Cyprus, it's a big island in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea, near Turkey, Syria, and Israel. It's a really nice place to visit. However, if you are from anywhere outside the UK, Australia, and South Africa, you might reconsider as people drive on the left side of the road. We did not know that. The person signing us off the rental car did not think to mention that. The person handing us the keys to the car did not think that neither a quick tour of the car nor some road tips were necessary. I can only imagine what my face looked like as I opened the door and realized which side was the wheel on. It was late. After a long day of packing and traveling, and we had a two-hour drive ahead of us in a new country in total darkness. I was not looking forward to this, but the guy handing me the keys did not care. I guess that's the perk of full insurance. I had to bug him to show me where a few of the car functions were, as I was unfamiliar with this particular model before we were finally on our way. Yes, I drive, not my husband. It's not like he's not a good driver, he is. But I actually like driving. So I drive unless I drink and he becomes my designated driver. That's how we roll. <laughs> Once you get used to the left side of driving, it's a lovely island to explore. We stayed mainly in the city of Pathos. It has a lot of old ruins around that you can explore, which is why I chose to film near the old tower on the beach side when the weather finally cleared. Thought I was going to be mostly alone, but everyone came out with the sun. I'm still nervous flying my drone in public. Then there was the wind, making my drone struggle to stay stable. Every time I flew it a little high, it threatened to return to base. I had to keep it low and close to the land so it wouldn't be thrown left and right by the gusting wind. I was hoping to fly above the waves, but the winds were relentless. So between the people, the wind warnings, and the low battery beeps, it stressed me pretty quickly. Practice. It's the only way to get used to all of this. Also, there was some distance issues I was having with the app. It wouldn't let me fly beyond the 100 meters ceiling set. I meant the vertical limit was acting like the horizontal limit, even though that one was set to 2 kilometers. From what I saw in my last flight, they fixed that issue. However, as a new pilot, I thought I was doing something wrong, which doesn't make the experience easier. Finally, after taking a few shots of the area, I gave up and packed up. Between the weather conditions and the malfunctions, I was tremendously limited by what I could do with the drone. The beach makes great footage, but as a newbie, an open field on a calm and sunny day is much better for practice. Farmland or a park don't usually have a lot of traffic to impede your journey. Always check your footage afterwards. It will help you learn and show you what what you do in the field results in the actual footage. You'll be surprised how far the drone has to travel to create a beautiful shot. The drone has to travel a much greater distance than you would think to get enough footage to be usable. For a 10 second shot, the drone might travel at nearly 100 meters. The drone is quite fast, but it won't feel that way on your screen. This is why you'll need to fly your drone quite a bit before the footage is usable. With practice, you'll learn, and you'll learn not to be afraid of sending your drone to that distance. I was quite scared to let my drone out of my sight. I hope this helps you with your own journey. If you have tips you wish to share, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope to see you next week. Have a wonderful day.